And now I would like to give the stage to Gediminas Galkauskas, business growth strategist at Hungry Scout, who talks about the world of AI and why we should be excited by the solution startups create. Gediminas is a business growth expert and trend trends analyst. Last decade, he spent working for the biggest Lithuanian media companies in digital news, TV and streaming. Now he consults companies on how to employ data-driven marketing approach for growth and spot emerging markets opportunities. Gediminas is a co-host of the marketing TV show Marketingus 360 at the biggest news media outlet Delphi and the author of the media and tech trends newsletter Media X. Gediminas, over to you. Thank you, Andrews, for a cool introduction. And uh, I, it's also a pleasure to give a presentation to all AI Boost viewers. And today I will talk about exciting future that AI startups could help to create. So Andrews briefly introduced me, but uh, let me do that myself as well. So as he mentioned, I'm strategic marketing expert, business consultant, and trends analyst. And my main job is to work with companies identifying new growth opportunities and setting the path and finding the right tools to exploit those opportunities. Artificial intelligence is definitely one of those tools that helps businesses grow. And I am excited that more and more companies are thinking of employing AI themselves. And today I will talk about AI, AI perspective from a business point of view. And I want to start from a story. That story encapsulates my approach to AI. In 1997, IBM AI computer Deep Blue had a match with the grandmaster Gary Kasparov. It was after his second loss to Deep Blue that Kasparov realized the huge potential that lay in partnering with AI instead of competing with it. And this led to his formulation of an equation to represent human-machine relations, which came to be known as Kasparov's law. This states, weak human plus machine plus better process is a superior to strong human plus machine plus inferior process. This is the positive future for AI and the human-machine relationship. It is the future of data crunching and pattern finding by machines. It is a future of creativity and strategic leadership by us human beings. I like to call this not an AI, but AI enhanced intelligence. And this framing makes a huge difference. When you talk about empowering humans and not replacing them, it helps not only to sell AI to the businesses, but also to have a clear development vision for AI. So when I mention AI, I talk about the technology, but when I mention AI, I have in mind practical technology application for business purposes. AI is super hot right now. According to Crunchbase, last quarter again was the record breaking for AI startups and the top deals are coming in healthcare, fintech and retail. Pandemics showed that we really need superhuman help for us to find cures ensure safe cyber life, especially it is important for financial technologies, and solve supply chain headaches. Thus, I want to talk about these three AI areas that will lead us to a better life in a modern world. Cybersecurity, which again is very important for all fin for digital finances, supply chain, and medicine. And let's start from cybersecurity. So cybersecurity attacks are on the rise all over the world. It, identity theft spikes amid pandemic. And according to US Federal Trade Commission, identity thefts doubled in 2020 and reached 1.4 million official cases. Malware increased by 358% in 2020. And according to Google, there are more and more phishing sites on the web and the number will continue to grow. The volume of data that is produced by modern companies constantly increases and it's becoming more difficult for human analysts to spot malicious activity until it's too late. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in the world of cybersecurity, speed kills. 
So in less than 20 minutes, a skilled adversary can break into organization's network and start exfiltrating critical data assets. This is where cybersecurity, artificial intelligence can come to the rescue. And Microsoft says that they've been able to automate 97% of routine tasks that occupied a defender's time just a few years ago, and they can help defenders respond 50% faster. The reason is that it is possible to automate lots of thread hunting activities across all of the platforms in a much quicker way than a human could actually do themselves. And one of the most high profile uses of AI in cybersecurity this year occurred at the game, Olympic Games in Tokyo, when Dark Trace AI identified a malicious device that an intruder had planted into the office of a national sporting body directly involved in the Olympics. The solution detected the device port scanning nearby devices, blocked the connections, and supplied human analysts with insights into the, into the scanning activity so they could investigate further. Cybersecurity worries will grow more as our lives become more and more digitalized and artificial intelligence startups working in cybersecurity could help everyone to live safer and better digital life. And now we can move to another important topic, supply chain artificial intelligence. This Christmas, this Christmas season, the world will experience that supply chain uh, disruption actually is bad. And it will, uh, will happen when gifts won't arrive uh, on time. And, uh, and uh, companies are increasingly facing supply chain challenges caused by or exacerbated by the pandemic. According to data, 39% of US small businesses were experiencing domestic supplier delays by the middle of July this year. Late deliveries can seriously impact customer loyalty with one survey finding that 80% of shoppers would cut ties with brands if they experience stock shortages or other parts say that just life becomes more bad. And supply chains are global interconnected webs of activity where it's hard to get an accurate picture of all the actors and their connections. Now companies outsource so much. Five station lines have become five separate companies, and sometimes they are in different parts of the world, and it makes everything so much more complicated. And AI's ability to analyze huge volumes of data, understand relationships, provide visibility into operations, and support better decision-making makes AI a potential game changer in all that supply chain. Successfully implementing AI enhanced supply chain management has enabled early adopters to improve logistics costs by 15%, inventory levels by 35%, and service levels by 65% compared with slower moving competitors. And one of the main reasons why the product that you just ordered on Amazon leaves companies fulfillment centers in about one hour and a half is of course artificial intelligence. And another example is uh, British consumer goods manufacturer Unilever. It owns over 400 brands and offers its products in more than 190 countries. The company teamed up with Microsoft in 20, 2019 <coughs> excuse me, to create digital twins, the identical virtual copies of its 300 global plans. It helps to sim simulate and optimize their operation. A pilot digital twin was created for Unilever facility in Valinhas, Brazil, and it saved the company $2.8 million by cutting down on energy use and driving productivity. So you can multiply it by 300 factors. And supply chains only will get more complex and the people demand for better and faster delivery won't disappear. So startups working in supply chain AI could create a better quality life for people. Healthcare and medicine. So COVID showed us that global pandemics are a reality now and more pandemics will sure come in the, in the future. 
And on the other hand, we will have more possibilities to respond to new health challenges with science and in big part, thanks to artificial intelligence. So drug development is a great business if you don't mind repeated expensive failure. The process of discovering and developing a new drug can take over a decade and cost 2.8 billion on average. <clears throat> and even then, nine out of 10 therapeutic molecules fail phase two clinical trials and regulatory approval. The possible failure points, points are many. Identifying a candidate drug from the zillions of atomic configurations that exist in chemical space, optimizing it for delivery, and testing it in animals and humans to see if it is both safe and effective. And they all add to the overall cost of drugs and healthcare. Centaur Hemist AI platform computationally sorts through and compares millions of potential small molecules, looking for a handle to synthesize, test, and optimize in the lab before selecting a candidate for clinical trials. <clears throat> All of which enabled the company to help get a cancer drug into trials in just eight months compared to a more standard four or to five years procedure. And enhanced intelligence is also breaking into the doctor's office with new models that can transcribe, analyze, and even offer predictions based on written notes and conversations between physicians and their patients. All of this is possible due to fast development of important AI field, natural language processing. And one of the biggest, if most invisible contributions AI can make is to automatically capture a physician's written or spoken notes. For all our focus on vital signs like you know, blood pressure or cholesterol levels, 80% of healthcare data exists in text or narrative and the doctor's note is still the primary way things get documented. That means everything from notes about a patient's medical history to a doctor's written impressions of a case, this is the dark matter of medical data that was mostly beyond the reach of computers until recent improvements of NLP. Moreover, if note-taking could become automated, it would likely be a huge help to overworked medical professionals suffering from burnout after spending hours manually entering data at the end of the workdays. And startups have plenty of activities that can get involved into healthcare. So, to recap everything, AI or EI is about giving speed, quickly selecting relevant data and dramatically decreasing costs for humans and companies. This means we can get to solutions faster and save money for other things that also matter. So for me, that is super exciting future. So how can you start as a startup? So let me again remind you Kasparov's law. Big human plus machine, plus a better process is superior to strong human plus machine plus inferior process. So tech itself is important, but more important is to deconstruct processes in any industries and to look for ways how AI application could improve any process inside them. And here will be your sweet spot. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you so much, Gediminas, for such an inspiring keynote. From your own perspective, what is the most exciting change and in what industry that AI brings? For me, it is the last one I spoke have spoken about it. It, it is uh, definitely healthcare and medicine. Um, we had the same uh, story about vaccine, COVID vaccines that it was developed so fast and AI also played a, a role in that. And uh, as global pandemics, at least it, there are forecasts, there will be more and more of them. So we will need that help. And another thing, uh, cancer cure, AIDS, hepatitis, and all those uh, very bad diseases really could be solved with the help of uh, artificial intelligence. So that's for me the most exciting thing for humanity. 
I absolutely agree with you. And maybe one more question from my side. Is the AI something that is a must have today in order to stay competitive or we slightly overestimate the need for change today? Um, <clears throat> while preparing uh, for, for, for this presentation, I encountered one, one, one survey that only uh, 20% of U U US businesses, uh, they are applying uh, AI. Uh, but those who are applying, they, they are much, much uh, making much better decisions, much speedier decisions, which is very important in, uh, in, in, in business. And what data shows that if you are not applying AI, you will start lagging behind uh, those who are. So basically, well, uh, you can live, let's say, in 2021, in 2022, possibly uh, you can live without AI. But uh, this means that you already are left behind a little bit. But if you won't be, you, you won't start using uh, AI in the next 12 months or 24 months, you can be, well, how, how to say, like in Queen's song, uh, another one bites, bites the dust. So that's probably the future if you are not using AI. Amazing. Gediminas, thank you so much for your inspiration and thank you so much for your answers. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Gediminas Galkowska's business growth strategies at Hungry Scout. Let's move on.